Hi Aries, this is your reading for December 2022. I'm going to touch on um, what you need to see for the rest of the month and then I will return and do a New Year's reading as well too, okay? Alright, so I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. I was going to do a new spread, but I'll save that for next year, okay? Um, let's see what we can pick up here for you with the Crooks on Sada spread for Aries. What does Aries need to know and be aware of for the rest of December? What does Aries need to know and be aware of for the rest of December? Okay. All right, Aries. So you have the Prince of Wands energy underneath the journalist. Okay, um, you could be embodying this or you can be dealing, I'm getting a Leo energy too. You could be dealing with a Leo, it could be Sag, um, but it is a prince, uh, which denotes that the individual may be younger than you, but they don't have to be younger than you. They could be in your age group or they're younger, all right? Um, I'm picking up the word tired. So if, if, this, if you're embodying this, um, if you're a man, you're embodying this, you could be tired of something or you're dealing with an external fire sign male that's tired tired um and i'm also getting this when i said that too i'm getting the idea of money loss i don't know if you lost some type of money or you feel like you're losing money um i'm getting like the idea of like a bet or deal whatever that is associated to um or this individual is tired of losing money or or they need to make money it could or you do whatever whatever the scenario is um and that could be related to like needing work or like some type of um predicament some type of circumstance that either you yourself got that you yourself got into or this person did and it involves like making money needing to make money or trying to retrieve lost money where somebody's losing money it's some type of scenario like that okay something like that um the starting point has the hangman, which is a sign of Pisces. Um, so the Prince of Wands energy could be, it could be a Pisces element that you could be dealing with. Or if it's not only Pisces, then it's hangman as to like, you don't know what to do. Um, I'm feeling something about retrieval. Because if you look at the hangman, um, I said this before in an old reading, like there's debit cards and there's money uh, falling out of the, his pocket. So it kind of feels like, that could be where there's there's some type of money loss that either you're experiencing or it could be a Pisces male could be experiencing some type of money loss and I'm getting something is really unexpected about that too so it's either money gain or money loss that a Pisces man is experiencing or another fire sign male or you yourself and whether you are a man or a woman all right so the hangman is here because it could also mean that a solution needs to come out of this as well too some type of solution okay um I'm, i am getting the idea of property too like that could be if it's a pisces man that could be their idea like it's to buy or sell property or move kind of getting that idea or it's you like you may need to sell something it could be cars it could be um uh changing apartments it could be like if you own a property it could be selling a property or you're trying to buy one and but something's going on with the money with that okay <clears throat> the waiting position has the ten of cups the ten of family here in the waiting position uh which that kind of brings in more water sign energy as well too like uh cancers scorpios pisces elements i feel heavy pisces is coming through with the hangman here and the Ten of Cups. So you may have a family with a Pisces element. It doesn't have to be a man. It could be a woman as well, right? Um, if it's not only the sign of Pisces, hang men with the Prince of Wands. You could be embodying that whether you're a man or a woman. The Ten of Cups is that you don't. You may not know what to do about... Um, I'm picking up like a family member. Like there's a particular family member that you're tied to that you may not know what to do about that person for some reason. And it could be related to money or um, I feel like some it's, a, it's bringing me the idea of like a female as well with the Ten of Cups 
like a female could be asking for money so it could be a female pisces could be a female cancer or a female scorpio um is somebody along those lines whether it's family friends is in need of some type of financial assistance with the hangman and the ten of cups energy okay so that's what i'm picking up there there's a few different scenarios that are coming through but before i move any further one is one has to do with like either a loss or a gain of money is con and one part of that is connected to like the buying and selling of a property so that someone can salvage something financially so that could be you um a prince of wands external or like a pisces man or pisces woman then I'm also picking up something about a cancer. Um, I'm feeling like the cancer energy is female. Scorpio energy is kind of coming through like females. And somebody also needs something there. Financially or somebody may need to make some type of random move. Or you do. Or something that you have tied going on with the Pisces or yourself. It, it has something to do. You can't pay for something anymore. Or the water sign energy can't fund something anymore. Or the fire sign energy external from you may need some type of financial assistance. There's a few different signs that are coming through here. Okay. Um, the present has the two of wands. All right. So the two of wands will mean uh, the two of wands is a decision card. So it does feel like you could be taking your time to make some type of decision regarding a family, regarding your own family or someone in your family needing money selling property moving but i also get a like some element of divorce with the two of wands as well some type of element of divorce divorce can mean legal divorce divorce can mean that you may need to separate from someone in your family but it's a lot of water sign energy here so it feels like you have some type of tie um <clears throat> if it's not water sign like to fixate on and then something is going on in your family that you metaphorically want to separate yourself from with the two of wands okay um when i said that too i was getting the idea of a parent you know something could be going on with a parent with the two of wands okay something could be going on with a parent or a cousin a sibling all the cups can mean like um uh the, all the cups could also mean that siblings are are involved with a choice that you need to make regarding a divorce, regarding the buying and selling of a property, an apartment, a move, a relationship even. Or you are voicing that for someone else in your family or in a relationship that you feel may not be speaking up for, for themselves. And I'm being drawn to a Scorpio with that. Okay, like some Scorpio element, whether it's a man or a woman. Pisces, Cancer, Two of Wands, something along with a parent. A parent may need attention. I'm also getting in an estate when I said a parent. So you, if your parent, you could be a parent and you have an estate or you're being left one through. I also get an insurance policy. You could be getting left one through an insurance policy in your family that is on someone or that someone has or you have yourself. But the two of wands is giving me an idea of an estate. Like uh, if it's like you could be left the, the estate or a parent could be leaving you an estate. Right. But um, that's why I was getting an idea of salvage with the hangman, the ten of cups, two of wands. You could be trying to salvage that. Okay. Right. So if this is related to, before I go any further, if this is related to a property like a family property, for example, and your parent, if your your parent, if whether they're deceased or living, has some type of estate that they want to leave for you or they left for you, there's something going on with there's another family member. I'm being drawn to a cousin. There's another family member, there's a cousin that something about their information or their money may be may be helpful in terms of you salvaging some type of property that you may be feeling like is getting taken or somebody else is gonna somebody else in the family is gonna take it. Something like that is what I'm getting. Ten of Cups energy. 
So if it's not in the States, then it, sh it could just be you trying to stay somewhere with the hangman and the two of wands, ten of cups energy. And and some you're someone you're seeking the help of another family member or a friend that can, um, I'm getting a loan with a family member or a friend to help you keep some, you know, stay where you are, two of wands. And there's patience that's needed through that procedure, if that makes any sense, okay? The future has the five of tentacles or some type of financial worry that you may be concerned about or as a person. Um, the emperor is here. That could be your energy or a Taurus. That's a man. Taurus male. Or you're embodying that. Could be another Aries man. Um, but it's the emperor, okay? So the emperor in your instincts could be that... Um, I'm also getting the idea of an authority figure. So the emperor could be older than you or they could be in your age group, but they're they're in your instincts because they're showing up like an authority figure, right? They could be a, an authority figure in your family. You could be embodying that as the, as the authority figure, whether you're a man or a woman, okay? But they're in your instincts, right? But um, I'm looking at them too. And I'm getting this idea of like a tax refund from them. Like I'm picking up something about a tax refund from this person. Like you may need, you may need, you may be waiting on some type of money from them to, okay. They, you, you could be waiting on a tax refund from this individual. Or if it's not a tax refund, it's some type of money that you need from this person. If they're external from you like an uncle or another friend, another uh, uh, business partner, something's going on there, okay? I'm looking at them too and I'm getting the, the feeling of asking for too much money. So that could be you or that could be them. There's this idea of asking for too much money. That could be why the hangman energy is here too. That could be why the hangman is here with the two of wands. Hmm. All right. So the accomplishment has the princess of cups. So the princess of cups can mean the, the princess of cups could be an emotional offer that you. Um, I'm getting this feeling of that uh, it could be an emotional offer that you're failing to notice, but it's coming from a water sign that's a female. It's so coming from a water sign that's a woman or, a, or they're younger than you or um, it's some type of emotional offer that you're failing to notice. I don't know if you're giving, you're trying to give an emotional offer. It's right, it's right next to the hangman. So it could be an emotional offer that you, um, I also get seeking from a Pisces. It's an emotional offer that you could be seeking from a Pisces element, whether the Pisces is a man or a woman or a Scorpio Cancer. You're either waiting for that emotional response or they are. They are. But it, it's definitely in regards to, I'm picking up the word salvage, it's definitely in regards to either salvaging a relationship or salvaging a home, salvaging some type of pay that you're waiting for or someone else is waiting for, okay? Uh, let's see. The Sagittarius energy is here in your uh, spiritual self as with the temperance energy. It's right next to the Ten of Cups. So the temperance in the spiritual self can mean that it's right next to the Ten of Cups. So the temperance will mean that um, uh, I'm also getting this feeling of wasting time looking with the temperance. There's a wasting time looking. So it could be looking for work that you deem to be some type of waste of time or it's looking for like um, some other type of financial option. But it's right next to the family as well. So I don't know if some aspect of what you're dealing, what you're doing with family, like emotional offer. If it's family related and you're waiting on emotional offers from family, you may deem that to be a waste of time because maybe you think that a particular family member is not going to reach out or apologize for something. That's why the emotional offer is right next to the hangman. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here too. So 
the reason one reason why you may want like for example if you're separated with the with the temperance next to the ten of cups if you're for some reason if you're really separate from like particular family members um it's giving me the idea that you may want money from them or you need money from them but at the same time with the hangman you don't really want to deal with them so it could be a sag that you have that feeling towards or pisces cancer scorpio a taurus man that you you need some type of you need somebody's like refund <laughs> i'm kind of getting that idea like you need a percentage of someone's refund either this is like it could be love related family related whatever the scenario however it resonates you have these people but it's different reasons that the people are here so the emperor i was getting the tax refund that you either have that bond with them and you're waiting on a percent i get a promise too as i'm talking about it they may have they may be promising you a percentage of some type of return that they are waiting for but i'm kind of getting the idea that this individual they either they i get own they may own multiple businesses or they own multiple properties and they're waiting for they 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 file taxes for those properties and those businesses and they're waiting for the percentage to come back to give to you and that's why i was getting the, from the beginning some type of deal that from the prince of wands energy external like another fire sign that's a male that they may have that bond with a taurus man or you do and something's going on with a pisces with that too and water sign right but i get secondary so the pisces and other water sign energies they're secondary to what you already had going on with the emperor if that makes any sense okay so what it sounds like to me like scenario wise it, it seems what it seems like is like you it seems like they're they're okay one element about this there could be i'm going to go with the estate idea that i was picking up from earlier on there was this idea of an estate so either you're you're being left and it's okay you or that means that you may find out that i don't know there's an estate that you you don't know about yet or you will find out about it's a property like a housing property but it's is i'm getting the idea of co-own too with that so you may be that's why hangman is right next to the prince of, princess of cups there may be a situation where like you may be forced to co-own it with someone or you want to just own it yourself or you want to salvage it right but salvaging it would mean that would mean that a bank doesn't take it or another family member doesn't take it or doesn't get sold so it could be like an apartment it could be a house but i was also getting a state which means that it's a whole property somewhere that someone can help you get access to right something like that it's there's a lot of different scenarios going on here so it's that's less one of them and then the the idea of money the idea of the money loss is related to like something's going on there with a work environment also some type of work environment and it's like you may want to borrow money from someone like a like a family member or a friend a cousin something like that but you don't really want to deal with the person but they may give you money or you give them money and they may have that the hangman they may be dealing with that that's why the emotional offer is next to the hangman with the princess of cups so they may be dealing with, you could be dealing with family members and friends that could be experiencing money loss if it's not you, but they don't want to ask, right? That's one scenario. And then the other scenario is in the state or some type of housing property that you're trying to, someone is trying to salvage and they then they're, they're going to tell you that they are trying to salvage it. Something like that. I don't know. Let me just move forward. <sighs> okay. The Prince of Cups is here too so you get a lot of water sign energy here so the prince of cups could be a water sign male you have water sign females prince of cups prince of cups may go along with the emperor too some type of a, a conversation that you need to have with it with an emperor right so whereas the prince of cups is next to the hangman that could be that's Pisces toward you, you, you towards the Pisces. The Prince of Cups in the mentality with the Emperor 
and that's you directly dealing with the uh, the Taurus or the Aries external. That's a man. And and communication and conversations that need to take place with them regarding like work, money, retrieving money, something about lost money. Somebody in the family needs money, or it's like a, a tax refund that somebody's telling you that they're going to give you a, a, a portion of it. I don't know, or this, or some type of estate that someone may have. Something about somebody's businesses. Scenarios like that. That I, I feel it, it sounds really corporate, <laughs> but it doesn't really need to be that corporate. But it feels like you're dealing with very it, adult matters. <laughs> you know. What's changing is the Queen of Wands. You could be embodying Queen of Wands. Or you're dealing you you know, you could be dealing with an external Queen of Wands energy. Or you something going on with you is in a changing position. Mm. But I also feel like you're not not asking for money, not asking for something specific from someone also. So and I'm being drawn to the Pisces element with that. So you may not be seeking anything from a Pisces particularly. You know, or you decided not to, if it's not a Pisces, whatever water sign. Or they're not doing that. Something like that. Right? Hmm. I'm also feeling this idea of turning a new leaf. So you may be turning a new leaf. You may be turning a new leaf in a situation. I mean, that's pretty that's pretty self-explanatory. Turning a new leaf would mean that you um it has a lot to do with solving problems, solving scenarios in your life. If that's the case, okay? Whether that be salvaging jobs or salvaging a home or finding out about a home or an opportunity, right? Or getting family involved with a situation and not getting family involved. It just depends on the situation. Um, the resolution has the mage, which is also your energy. You could be dealing with, like I said, you could be dealing with another uh, Aries man. And they're in the resolution going towards the Five of Pentacles. Or the Mage, if it's not only in like Aries, the Mage and the resolution with the Five of Pentacles is that you can, I feel like you can undo with the Mage and the Five of Pentacles. You can undo some type of financial issue if there is one somewhere. Right? right? But when I said that too, I was getting this idea of a bargain with the Five of Pentacles and the Mage. So one way that you're going to undo that is by bargaining with someone. Bargaining with an emperor, bargaining with a water sign, with water sign male and female, somebody there, you know, bargaining. It has to do with bargaining. The Sag element is there too in the spiritual self. So a Sagittarian, like I said, the Prince of Wands energy underneath could be an external fire sign. That's a male. So you have, um, I was picking up Leo, Leo, Sag, Aries, Taurus, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, elements here. Okay. Um, let's do an outcome on this reading to see what we get. Let's do. Nice and short. Okay. All right. Seven of Pentacles. All right. So there's Seven of Pentacles will be some type of financial retrieval, like I was saying. And let me do another outcome there. And the Hermit. So the financial, the financial retrieval with the Hermit will mean I get the feeling of how it's done so the hermit with the seven of pentacles is it, coming through it's financial retrieval but it's the way it's done but that's why the hermit is there it's just the way that is that is being done so the way that is being done will mean through bargaining or somebody's doing that towards you or or you're doing that towards someone um or it's uh something that you were promised 
or you have some type of deal with someone where they're going to give you they have some type of promise that they're going to give you a percentage or something so that you can pay off some type of debt if you have debt or that's coming towards you from someone else so you have water signs here you have um emperor sag leo right estates trying to salvage some type of property or or uh, get some type of money back okay all right aries so that's your reading let me know how it resonates be well take care bye